well, the day has finally come and it's time for me to say goodbye to AM4, because AM5 is on our doorstep, so it's time to say goodbye to the great chipset that was AM4, and for one last hurrah, we're bringing you an awesome AM4 inspired build with iconic hardware from the AM4 era of AMD. All right, let's get into it. Now that the build is all finished, I just want to quickly talk a little about the history of AM4 and the parts I chose today. AM4 was first launched back in September 2016, a whole five years ago, which is incredible for a platform. It was the first socket from AMD to support DDR4 memory, can you remember that? And is the base of eight chipset models, including our first focus in the build today, the B550. We used the MSI B550 Gaming Carbon Wi-Fi motherboard, which was sent to us by our awesome mates at MSI. B550 was actually a late addition to the platform, having released on June 16th, 2020. Its late release was for reasons I don't have time to go into in this video, but nonetheless, it proved to be an amazing motherboard choice for AM4 offering fantastic performance and value. While the X570s were often heralded as the bigger choice between the two, I always advocated for the B550 because it was such a great bang for buck board. And plus, this carbon model looks real spicy. Team Ryzen dropped some great CPUs over the years, like the 1800X in March 2017, or the iconic Ryzen 3600 and 3600X in 2019, which put affordable high-performance gaming on the map for AMD. However, I think the best release has to go to the AMD 5600X. It was the most affordable of the Zen 3 CPU family and packed a 6-core 12-thread processor. 
For me personally, it was awesome to see such a good price point on a CPU that performed well in content creation tasks and gaming. Its gaming potential honestly was comparable to other high-end AM4 offerings at the time, like the 5900X and the 5800X, but it was a lot cheaper. And as you all know, bang for buck is my middle name. The final AMD part of this build was the graphics card, and to keep with our AM4 period correct theme, I tapped in the 6700 XT, which is actually my own personal card. For a good while there, honestly, this was the most affordable and attainable card on the market, despite the 3070 being faster. This was a solid card for 1440p gaming and also featured some great clock speeds and is my pick for the best value AMD graphics card that released alongside AM4. Keeping in mind, it was also during the tech apocalypse. So this was our ode to AM4. AM4 really has been an amazing time for AMD. It's put them back on the map regarding both affordable and great quality chipsets and really cemented their place alongside Intel and for some, even a bit ahead of them. We're super excited to see what AM5 will bring and we'll be doing a ton of content on it soon. So remember to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out. I hope you enjoyed our video today and we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Are you gonna do something funny? No, probably not. It's a serious video, bro. <laughs> <Hey>! <laughs>